This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time, we wanted to talk today about a job that farmers have every single winter. It is checking grain bins. What do farmers need to look at and why? Well, when you put your grain in a bin in the fall, your job is not done. It's only beginning because the crop is in the best condition it's going to be the day you put it in the bin. It can only go downhill from there. So you need to be keeping that grain cool for one thing. So it's important if you have some aeration, you can run some air through that bin to keep it cool. But you also need to keep that grain dry. Assuming that you have stuff cool and dry, here are some other tips to help keep that grain in condition. Well, one of the things that farmers will do is they will always level the tops of their grain bins. You say, well, what do you need to do that for? It's just a pile of grain. Who cares? The thing is, if you have a peak to that grain, the moisture will typically move to that peak. So that peak will be the wettest point. That's why farmers want to have the tops of their grain bins perfectly level. Then there is no point and no place where moisture is going to build up. Moisture is a bad thing when a farmer is storing grain. Well, along those lines with moisture, you need to check your vents as well to make sure the ventilation system on that bin is working fine. Sometimes in the winter, the vents can get iced up a little bit. It's important to make sure that airflow can move in and out of that bin. What we encourage farmers to do is to take a probe so they can actually go way down into the grain and extract some of that grain for testing. Then what they're going to want to test is the temperature of the grain and the moisture of the grain. If it looks like the moisture is relatively high, especially over 15%, if it looks like the temperature is on the rise, that's a bad thing. Now, a lot of grain bins have what we call aeration floors, so you can pump air underneath the grain and have that go up through the grain. That's basically what Darren's talking about, having the vents on the top, so the air gets pumped in from down below, it ends up going up and out those vents on the top. The idea is a farmer wants to get that grain as cold as possible. Now that's easy to do when you're from South Dakota and it's about 20 below zero a lot of times in the winter. We can freeze that grain. That helps preserve that grain well into the summer. Well, if you do have frozen grain or you have some grain where there was some moisture, many times it can get a crust on top of the grain. And what the first step would be is taking some grain out of that bin. So maybe you take one load out of the bin, try and break up that crust on the top. Once you start removing grain from the bin, you need to be very cautious. Let's say that you do pull a load of grain out, but that crust still stays there. Well, if you don't know that you've pulled the load out, now you've got an empty cavity underneath that crust, and somebody could fall through and get into some trouble. So whenever you're checking grain bins, it's really important. Know what the history is. If you've been hauling some loads out, go up in the top of the bin and take a look and make sure everything's flowing down nicely. The other thing is, if you're going to get into the bin, let somebody else know that you're getting in the bin. Hopefully they can come along to watch and make sure everything's okay, but then somebody's right there. If there is any problem, you've got somebody right there to help you. The reason why farmers are more concerned about storing grain in the bin this year than almost ever before is because we had very wet corn and even wet soybeans. That's very unusual. The other thing is we saw a lot of mold on those corn kernels before they ever got harvested. So unless all that mold got knocked off, that could lead to more storage problems as well. So we're just really cautioning farmers this winter to be careful for all this. And if you're a non-farmer, we just wanted you to know that it's very important that farmers do check their bins on a regular basis because that grain isn't going to keep forever. Well, one thing that can be a big problem farmers need to be on the lookout for as well is weeds in their fields. Weeds like our weed of the week. Can you identify this tough